Ike EJ from the Policy Exchange. I mean, the government were talking today about uh, this week about building beautiful. Yes. You've got a million people waiting for social homes. They just need decent homes. Beauty's a luxury, surely. Um, <coughs> beauty's a luxury in one sense, but in another sense, it is a necessity because nobody wants to live in an ugly place. Nobody would, nobody would want to do that. It won't help the housing crisis. So quantity is critical. I agree with everyone here who said we need to increase housing supply. That's absolutely fundamental. But we have to make sure we're building decent quality places that people want to live in that are sustainable and that will support the housing market of the future. Because if we don't do that, we're not addressing the housing crisis, we're just postponing it for another generation. So we have to get on board with this idea. A, quality beauty doesn't have to be expensive. I can show you all kinds of developments. They've had loads of money thrown in them and they're, they're awful. So it doesn't have to be expensive. Beauty is not just a cost consideration and we have to make sure that it becomes as commonplace as other considerations like demand or kind of um, mortgage rates when we're deciding where we want to live. But, but, but do you not think that the market should be the arbiter of beauty, not, not the Secretary of State being the sole arbiter of what is or isn't beautiful in the UK? I, I, I see this argument, and it, I, it, it's a seductive argument because beauty is subjective to a degree, but there are quantifiable object, um, objective standards about what makes good places that we should incorporate more. Public spaces, trees, well designed ro rooms, houses, frontages, etc. We should have that as a matter of completely course. agree with that. There